Hey everyone, welcome to Backyard Effects. I'm Amy Dunn. Today, I'm going to show you how to make an edible prop that makes it look like your actor is eating raw meat. Mmm. <laughs> dangerous and can make you really sick. Plus, it's really gross. But with this, you can make it look as if your actor is eating raw meat, but they're really not. But to everyone else, it looks like they are, but they're really not. Anyway, sadly, I don't have a puppet today. Because, like all my friends, I've got shit to do. got a self spinning wheel that I made with my own two hands <laughs> and my dad's screwdriver and some tape. Wheel start spinning! <laughs> Two cans of the canned meat of your choice. I chose corned beef because it seemed more beefy. Red food coloring. Water. I chose Worcestershire sauce, but you could easily use soy sauce or whatever you prefer or is available. Plain white paper towels. Potato ricer. Be careful when buying these. They can be pretty expensive. I got this one for $13 at Target. Make sure it's a garlic press style and make sure the holes are pretty big. This one has a removable plate. Plastic wrap, foam butcher plate. If you know of a grocery store that has an on site butcher, they can give you one for free if you ask them nicely. Please, please, please do not, do not, under any circumstances, I cannot repeat this enough, do not reuse an old foam plate from actual raw meat. No matter how good you think you've washed it, there's still going to be some lingering germs and all kinds of nasty stuff that can still make you sick. But an actual butcher plate is not really required because you can easily put it on a regular plate or wrap it in some foil and you'll get the same effect. Same exact effect. And you don't even have to do every single detail other than the meat uh, as like I do it. It's just a personal preference. Well, Let's get to the dough. Simple time now. Woo! Start by making a blood mixture of your sauce, red food coloring, and water. Set it aside for now. You'll be kneading it only twice. Take two sets of attached paper towels and cut them a little bit smaller than the size you want your meat to be. Dip one of them in the blood mixture. Set the mixture aside again. Place the white paper towel on top of the newly red one and press it red side down on the foam plate. Dab a little bit of water onto it to let some of the red show through. Now, open one of your cans of meat and mash it up in a bowl. Add red food coloring until you feel it's the right color. Mix water with it to make it softer so it's easier later to get through the ricer. Be careful not to add too much water or the meat won't hold its shape and you end up with a big goopy mess. You may end up mixing it with your hands like I did, so have plenty of those paper towels handy. Scoop some of the meat into the ricer and press on the handle. If it's too hard to press, try adding more water to the mix. It 
to come out as little meat noodles. This will have to be done in layers. This is the first. Make sure to lightly press the meat noodles together as you go along. For me, one can does one layer. After the second layer, add a little bit of the blood mixture over the top. Cover it in plastic wrap. Then I attached a fake label I made and that I printed off the computer. And you're done! My name's Dolly. No relation to Sam, of course. <laughs> and I'm here to help my sister, Molly. I'm not sure how it happened. She just fell into the wrong crowd and, well, now she's a werewolf. If it wasn't because of hanging around some bad crowd. They wouldn't hang around with me now even if I wanted them to. I'm not only scared for her, I'm scared for myself when she's around. I mean, I can't keep any raw meat in the house. The neighbor's pets keep disappearing. And sometimes, our kids are staring at me. Why am I the way that I am? Hmm, let me think. Let's see. It wasn't because I was touched in the wrong way as a kid. It wasn't because my daddy didn't hug me. Hmm. Oh yeah, it was when I was bitten by a f***ing werewolf. It's just too much for me. I don't think I can... Oh, it's getting kind of late, y'all. You... Do know that it's a full moon tonight, right? No! No, no, no! This is my interview time, not yours! Not yours! We're here to help you! We are here to help you! No! No!